Oh my goodness, have I got something so exciting to share with you guys. This is my first Latest in Beauty collaboration box. Uh, we've called it the We've called it the Glow Plan Beauty Edit. We thought it would be a really nice combination to go along with my Glow Plan book. If you haven't got this already, you can find it on Amazon. In the book, I talk about aging well. There's a lot of science in the book about our digestion, stress, lifestyle, products. There's face massage, sleep. There's just so much in here that can help you age well. So it felt like a really nice, easy extension to then pull together a beauty box that you guys can enjoy in your aging well process. So here is, sorry, I've made a bit of a mess of this already. We've got all goodies in here. I think the total value of the box is over 200 pounds, but the price to purchase it is 48. It's an absolute bargain. I have really enjoyed choosing the products and I thought instead of just talking you through what I put in the box, why don't I demo and, and show you? So, let's dive straight in. Okay, so because I've got some makeup on, I actually thought it's gonna be easier to show you what I would do from a nighttime routine first, and then we'll sway into the morning routine. Obviously, we wanna start with taking off our makeup. I chose the Bybee Swipe Clean Facial Cleansing Oil and Makeup Remover. I love a face oil. There are actually three very different face oils in the kit, this being one of them. This is the type of oil, I'm gonna be generous. I am putting this onto dry skin because this type of oil is one of those that you massage it in, smush it around, then add water and it turns into a milky lotion. So, there isn't a crazy scent to this, which I love. It's gentle, effective, lovely to use. It's just a lovely way to end your day taking off your makeup. Right. So I am, um, let me come up closer, there we go. I'm using middle fingers and gently going backwards and forwards, breaking up the mascara, which it's doing that obviously beautifully, over any brows, any lipstick, under jaw. All of the products in the box Oh God, it's just so lovely to use. All of them are natural. I am pretty sure all of them are vegan. Suitable for all skin types. For me, that was essential because whether you are buying the box yourself or whether it's a gift for someone else, these are all really safe products, suitable for all skin. Okay, so water. Dampening, you probably see that's gone all milky. I find this just so effective for taking off all of your makeup without being too harsh or too thick. You might have experienced this because I know some cleansing oils or balms when you smush them over the eyes, it's like, oh, I've, I've got a film over my eyeballs. I can't see properly for the rest of the evening. I've not found that with this, which is obviously a bonus. I'm using a baby muslin damp. Right, I might just need to go and get um, 
a cotton pad just to make sure that I've got my eye makeup off. So hold on. Right, okay. Damp cotton pads. I'm just making sure. Oh, that comes off so easy, just those little remnants. Because those are the bits that make you look a bit dodgy when you wake up in the morning. I'm, ooh, there's so much choice. There's quite a few different ways that I can go with this. But I think I'm going to go with then using, it's the Gatineau. It's a brightening or an exfoliating PHA and BHA tonic. Hold on, I need more cotton pads, bear with. It's as if I wasn't planned for this at all. Okay. I am going to squish and shake a generous amount uh, onto a cotton pad and then I'm going to just start wiping across the forehead. So this particular exfoliating tonic, PHAs are the gentlest, they are gentler than AHAs, so polyhydroxy acids. They exfoliate on the surface of the skin. AHAs, that there aren't any in this, they go that little bit deeper. And then there is a little bit of BHA, which is your salicylic, which is great for your pore refining. So the combo of PHA and BHA, you've got that surface smooth, and then a little bit, a tiny bit, I think it's 0.5%, of the antibacterial and refining pores. So effective but gentle. There is also hyaluronic acid in this. So it's exfoliating but adding hydration. So that is the Gatineau exfoliating PHA, BHA glow tonic. Next up for my evening routine I think I want to add in a whole load of hydration. I'm going to use the Oskia Hysotonic Hydra Serum. So I chose this for the kit because the skin just needs a whole load of hydration. A hydrated skin is just a healthy looking skin and these types of products just work so well with all of your other actives. This particular one I'm going to use Maybe a full pipette. Uh, I'm going to put it into fingertips, smush it around. When you apply it, you can actually, there's a little bit of an oat kind of scent to it. And there is oat ceramides in here, along with your hyaluronics, uh, your electrolytes, and so much more. So this is way beyond just a hyaluronic acid serum. Yeah, I really like it. It's just almost a, a comforting scent while it is hydrating everywhere. And you might have noticed I am pressing a little bit over my eyelids and going right underneath, over my lips. Smush it down my neck. There we go. Nice bit of hydration. Then I'm going to use one of the next oils so this is the second of the three oils in the kit this is the disciple dreamy skin retinol oil so it's not retinol so it's gentler but a beautiful blend of oils interestingly it has been formulated to also work for people with acne and i know that might be controversial but the oils in here, then they're what I'd call a dry oil. So I've used, I'm going to say about three to five drops. I'd vary it dependent on your skin. And then I'm pressing it on. I am not massaging with this oil, okay? And I'm using this instead of a night cream. Night creams, I'm a little bit funny about. I think some skins that are particularly dry definitely benefit from a night cream. I just really love layering up your serums and your oils and then getting to bed. 
So in this, I'm just pressing it in, there's rosehip seed oil, sea buckthorn. Those two are possibly two of my favourite oils, uh, particularly sea buckthorn. It's a little bit of magic. And that is actually all I'm doing to my skin in the evening, other than I'm going to take a night supplement and I specifically wanted something to support sleep in here. Sleep is so important for everything. Um, but when we think of glow and radiance, sleep is just one of the magic things. And I know people say, yes, you need at least seven to eight hours. That's great knowing that, but it's another thing actually doing it. So I'm a seasoned insomniac. Sleep is not my superpower. And I definitely go through phases where I do take supplements and things to help. I first tried Life Armor Drops of Slumber say maybe a couple of years ago and I just really loved it you've got b6 in here you've got b6 in here which is all about supporting the nervous system in a positive way uh, to be supporting that sleep awake cycle so I would include this into my nighttime skincare routine but obviously I'm taking it internally like that drop tastes really nice as well um, so I would keep it by the side of my bed. So you do your skincare routine, get into bed, this, so you don't forget it. Obviously the key with supplements is that you use them. Um, and then not off to sleep. Done. So that is the nighttime routine from the products in the latest in beauty box. Okay, we're now going to pretend that I've just woken up and the morning routine that I've put into the Glow Plan Beauty Box. I have chosen an old, old favourite method of cleansing, the Dr. Hauschka Cream Cleanser and the Facial Tonic. Hauschka is a range that I just hold so dear. I trained as a Hauschka recitation maybe a decade ago, maybe even longer. Actually, it was longer. I guess it maybe 15, 18 years ago. Back then, there wasn't much choice when we were talking about organic or natural products. I think there was literally, I don't know, three ranges on the market. Whereas now we've got loads of choice. So they were way ahead of the game and their philosophy is just way beyond the, hey, here's some products to make you look good. They are respecting uh, the rhythms of the planet with how they farm, with biodynamic farming, just us as a human on a more holistic level, as well as the skin. So I just wanted to go back to some old, old loves of mine, which I can do with skincare. It's not a good idea to do with your relationships, but with skincare, it's not a bad idea. So the cleansing cream, if you don't know how to use it, it can be a tricky one because you might think, oh, it's an exfoliant, I need to scrub with it. It does have a gentle exfoliating effect, but you don't scrub with it. I would put, hold on, a nice squish like that into the palm of my hand. You could add a few drops of water to that just to soften it up, or you could use the facial tonic and put a couple of spritz with it to smush that around slightly. I am gonna add a little bit of water as well. So the idea is that, there we go, so it goes like this on the palms of your hands. So you need an amount of water with it. I'm going to apply forehead, down, and under chin and neck. The ideal way of using this is a press and roll action. So you should hear the Let me come closer so you can see. I don't know why I'm suddenly whispering. Hauschka 
always respect the flow of the lymph and it's something that I still do in my facials now start at the top and work down the face it's not pressing too hard either I just love the smell I love the smells of all of them in there it just adds to the experience I probably find there's a nostalgicness about this as well you can go into the sides of the nose There we go. So I particularly love this, it's a, a morning cleanse. It's nice to use fresh cold water. I'm using a muslin and I'm wiping from top out and down. I'd love to know if you've actually tried the Hauschka cleanser before. Did you know how to use it properly? <laughs> Was this totally new to you? And I'm gonna give my skin a spritz with oh, the tonic. I love, this particular size is great actually to put in your handbag, uh, whether it's summertime or you just want a little bit of a shh, or maybe you're menopausal, <laughs> having a bit of a, a bit of a hot flush and you need something just to take the edge off. Um, I find if you spritz even over makeup, it's fine, as with any spritz, as long as you don't kind of smush it around, you don't need to. It will just kind of dry and hydrate the skin. Okay, so morning serums, I have chosen a vitamin C. I think vitamin C is so essential for all skin types. We've gone for the Lumine, I think I've pronounced that right. Um, it's the Nordic Sea Glow Boost Enhance. You might have noticed that there's a bit of a, a glow thing going on through the box, which I think everybody wants skin to glow. So this, there is cloudberry, which is a fascinating ingredient, mega vitamin C levels. So one pipette I find is too much. So let's squish that down a little bit. What is lovely about this is, yes, you've got your vitamin C, but you've also got hyaluronic. So it, it's a bit of a double whammy. I'm pressing on and going on neck and then smoothing over. There we go. And then I am going to go back to the Oski serum, which I used in my nighttime routine. This particular one, I just, I just love it. But it's a great serum to be mixing up with your vitamin C's in the morning and with your retinoids in the evening for that extra level, level of hydration. Plumping out the lines, forehead lines, eye lines, lip lines. So I've double serumed in the day. I'm just gonna let that dry slightly. So then I wanted to choose a moisturizer that isn't too heavy, isn't too light, should suit quite a few different skin types. So I've gone for the By B C Calf Cream. And obviously by its name, it's got vitamin C in and caffeine. The caffeine, because it's a diuretic, is potentially good for puffiness and your vitamin C is that adding a bit of glow it's not too heavy I find a little bit goes a long way um, I'm warming a little bit between hands and then just gonna press that on and then smush it in I find with this if you smush it around too much or you apply too much it takes quite a bit to, to massage it in. So less is sometimes more with this particular moisturizer. Kakadu Plum, that's one of the vitamin C's they've got in this. And Kakadu Plum, I think, is one of the really high levels of vitamin C. We haven't put an SPF in the box, so I would obviously be going over the top with an SPF as well. 
But that is our morning routine. Other things that you could do with the products that we've got in the box, okay? With your nighttime routine, you might like to remove your makeup, then go in with a second cleanse, then you could go in with the exfoliant, the, the Oskia and the Disciple oil. So the addition to that would be a second cleanse with the Dr. Hauschka cream cleanser. If you haven't had makeup on, you might not do the swipe cleanse and actually maybe your nighttime cleansing is just the cleansing cream and the tonic. So there's that way around that you can do things. If you feel like in the morning you want to get stuck in with some face massage first, there is a product I've not mentioned yet and an essential product in the box. This is the third oil. This is the Codex Labs Bio Facial Oil. You've got rosehip seed, seed buckthorn, and lots of other beautiful oils in here. This is the oil that I love to massage my face with. So I would potentially massage my face first with this in the morning, then go in with my cream cleanser and my tonic, then continue with the rest of my skincare. If in the evening, I mean, there's so many ways that we can do this. If in the evening you wanted to give yourself a face massage in the evening, as much as you can massage with this, if you've got makeup on, you don't wanna be massaging and smushing all of that makeup into the skin. So I would remove your makeup first with this, wipe it clean, then I would massage with this oil, the Codex Face Oil, do whatever moves you want to do, then I would wash it off. You might want to use the Hauschka Cleansing Cream just to make sure it's fully off, and then continue with the rest of your products. So that's how I would jigsaw in and out some of the products. The Disciple Dreamy Skin Oil, this is one that I would only use at night time because you've got the vitamin A in there, speeding up skin, skin cell turnover, it's not one that I would be using in the day. So that is just kind of like a need to know. The other thing dependent on your skin type, you might choose to th use this on a daily basis. So this is the exfoliating tonic. However, this is really gentle, but you might I don't know, have other skincare in your routine, maybe you've had a professional treatment, maybe you're just like really, really sensitive, then maybe this is just like a couple of evenings a week. So we can kind of step this in, step this out. So there's a few ways that we can up the routine, step it back, but everything in the box is gentle, suitable for all skin types and blooming lovely. So I hope, I hope that's helped you with all of your products in the box. If you want to know a little bit more about aging well and you haven't got my glow, plan, my glow plan book, it is available on Amazon. There is so much more information in here that goes way beyond your skincare. So I just hope you found that really helpful. I have so enjoyed putting this box together and sharing it with you guys and I really hope loads of you enjoy these goodies at such a bargain price. 